Hey y'all, praise the Lord. This is Reverend Allison Joan Hall Thomas and um, me and my husband are supposed to be going to the gym, but I made him this big breakfast this morning and he got the itis and took a nap. So while he's taking a nap, I went on and sent out the devotion that I send and, and I was sitting here reflecting on us reading. He read the Bible to me this morning in the Exodus, Exodus the fourth chapter. And while he was reading, the Holy Spirit was just just gave me this um, just he he was reading when Moses um, called when God called called Moses, and um, God told Moses to cast the staff down onto the ground, and it turned into a snake. Snake. And then God told Moses to pick it up and pick it up by the end and it turned back into a staff. And he told Moses to, these are things that God told Moses to do to, to demonstrate that God was with him. And he told him to stick his hand in his cloak and he stuck his hand in his cloak and pulled it back out and it was leprosy, leprosy, it was full with leprosy. And it was, and then he told him to put it back in his cloak. He put it back in his cloak and pulled it out and it was healed again. But those two acts, when my husband was reading it, it just made me, it made me imagine how scared Moses must have been. Can you imagine having to pick up a snake. I can't even imagine that. And how, imagine how you feel if you look at your, look down at your hand and it's full of sores, just just like that. Can you imagine how scary that, that was for Moses? But just like Moses, God tell us to do some scary things. When God first told me to get on YouTube, sing a hymn, read the Bible, take a meeting and pray, especially singing, I was afraid. And if you look at some of my older, older postings when I was first being obedient to God, I was just so timid and and unsure of myself and, and everything. But I'm just wanting to encourage you to do it afraid just do it afraid Moses had to do it afraid I'm sure everybody that God uses at times are afraid but we just have to do it afraid okay that's my word for the day do it afraid because God got your back he won't bring you something, bring you to something that he won't take you through. And he won't ask you to do something that you can't do. So just believe, just trust that he got your back. Say, God, I don't want to do this. I'm scared. I don't want to do this, God. But you said you'll be with me, that you never forsake me. So you, you, my fourth, you, the, you, the man in the fire with me. So you right next to me. So I'm going to do it because you said do it. And how we demonstrate our love for God is doing what he tells us to do, following his commandments and doing what he says, what he asks us to do. That's how we show God we love him. So do it afraid and God will reward you. He is a reward of those who diligently seek him. And you can't be God-given. Give him your faithfulness. Give him your heart. Give him your life. And he'll make it wonderful because he did that for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs>